Hi, this is a very quick tutorial on how to make a World Space Canvas UI using Red Room Studio. So as you can see, I have this entire UI over here that has pretty much, well, everything, right? It's got uh, cards, individual card buttons that you can select. All of these are buttons uh, and they're all interactable in-game. So let me show you how you do this. So I'm going to not save. So the first thing you want to do is you want to create a new empty object. So let's call it our tutorial UI. Then you want to turn it into a prefab. So click on it, drag it down here. Boom, it's a prefab and open that up. Next, right click up here, scroll down to UI and put a canvas. The first thing we want to do is change the render mode to world space. We don't have to touch anything after that. The second thing we want to add the rec room object script on our empty object, like I just did. Make sure it's decoration. Then under canvas, we want to add a rec room studio canvas interaction and toggle on is interactable. Now that that's out of the way, let's find our canvas. It's recommended to click one of these at the top and go into isotopic view because now we have this 2D view rather than 3D, it's 2D. So now we want to add a button. Let's right click our canvas, go to UI, and add a button. Boom, our button spawned like that. Uh, if by any chance your screen was like this and the button's flipped, simply click on the X arrow twice to flip. Um, then, so yeah, we have our button. Uh, we can change its sprites. So for this example, uh, I have a couple of sprites here. Um, I'm gonna go with a an Owl House character because why not? Just cause it's funny. Uh, I'm gonna go with Loose. And just put that here. If you put a sprite different from the button, it will be squished. But you fix this simply by clicking Set Native Size. This is a little bit too big, so let's shrink that. You can also delete the text if you don't want a text. And we can just rename our button to just button. All right. Now that this is done, that's pretty much it. Currently, you can just save the prefab spawn in your room. Uh, oh, and because it's a Rec Room object, you also want to make sure there is a box collider. Um, I recommend changing these values like so. You pretty much want to cover the entire canvas usually. that and make sure you flip on the side because it will not be correct you have to use the z value under center to fix that uh, and we can even make the z value a little bit bigger so it's got some depth there all right so yeah we have a button right here but hey we want our button to send an event uh, a circuit event uh, with an event receiver so let's click unclick right here, drag the parent, your empty object in. Under function, select the rec room object, send circuit event, and name it whatever event you want. I'm naming mine test click. Go ahead and hit save. Spawn it in your room. So I have to go back under my prefabs. Spawning it will make it very big at world origin. And that's why I already had another one spawned in. Um, <laughs> I completely forgot about it. So let me, let me delete one of them. And we should be able to, oh boy, I'm not searching for that. Found it, there we go. Um, we should be able to move it, shrink it. But yeah, it, it will usually spawn around the room origin. Uh, so the zero, zero, zero point, and it will be pretty big. So heads up if you can't find it, that's probably because it's all the way over there. And I missed it, but there it is, I found it. All right, um, so let's put this right here. So there, there we go, we've got our our button. 
Uh, and the circuit board that comes with it, so you can, you can also find the circuit board right here. So the circuit board that comes with it will have our event. Um, well, actually, it might not. To make sure of that, select our prefab and hit remake object boards. So that updates it. Now it should have it. We can then save the room and publish. And there it is. You'll have your button working in-game. If you have any questions, feel free to ping me and I will try my best to answer them.